So workshops have been going really well. Um, the robotic one, there was only one small uh, fire, but I guess that's the biggest part. That's like how learning goes. Like if you don't understand like what you're doing wrong or why you're doing it, you don't understand. So I think the like the the breaking stuff, setting stuff on fire, and the burning is all part of like the process. And uh, I think they've learned a lot. And everyone in the workshop so far have been able to make everything. So that's also really exciting, especially with robotics and programming. It's like, oh, usually one person's doesn't work or someone's does, but everyone got it working. So I'm like, yes. So it's fun. No, so my flight got canceled a little bit coming into Adelaide, but um, I, they, you know, they picked me up from the airport. Everything was arranged. The entire team has been awesome. The communication has been great. Like. I was just telling everyone, I'm like, thank you, thank you. Actually, one of the girls from Hybrid World, she's like, can you bring me this robot Barbie? So I like got her one specifically and like put it in my bag. And so it's nice. There's been a good relationship between all these people that have been steady contacts. And I appreciate that. <laughs> so a few people from Mod and Hybrid World, we were kind of discussing. We're like, all right, they're like, we want you to come and make a costume. I'm like, okay, that's neat. They're like, oh, we want you to teach some workshops. I'm like, okay, workshops are cool. Then they're like, all right, now you have to everyone in the workshops are going to contribute to this costume and then you're going to wear it for hybrid world. I'm like, okay, that's really neat. It's like this open source sharing of the costume. But what makes it even cooler is since the, the sword is interactive and we're using an electric conductive tape, they're giving out these little flexo Lego bricks and all you have to do is find me walking around with the sword and touch it and the sword lights up. So that's the biggest thing. I want this entire thing to be interactive and I want people to ask questions because sometimes there's this weird thing where you don't want to approach someone because you don't know anything about them or what they're working on. You probably already know who I am because you know this or you follow me or on the, like you see this costume, but I want you to ask questions and I want you to like learn or be intrigued and like that's kind of what it's all about. No, I was really surprised. So the robotic class last night is more of an advanced class and it was a good 50-50 split between girls and guys. And some of them were web developers, some of them were teachers, some of them were, um, one of them worked in, uh, she said like chocolate. And I don't know, I just love that there's something about making something and you're like, ah, it works. So that's where the 3D printing comes involved. So like I had little 3D printed robotic heads. So. To make a servo spin is like, it's, it's neat, but to put it on a 3D printed part and then you have an interactive, it's, it's amazing. Like it's a different experience to be able to hold what you're working on in your hands. It's really cool. Yeah, so the National Video Game Museum is in uh, Dallas, Texas in the United States. And um, the three guys that founded that, uh, I'm friends with them. And we talked about doing a scholarship for girls in STEM, STEAM, because we're adding the science, technology, arts, mathematics. Um, it was, it was an interesting argument. I kind of specifically in the beginning uh, wanted to stay out of it. I didn't want to put my name in it because I also do realize I have a bunch of tattoos and um, some people do not feel that I am like a good role model for their kids. So I'm also, I realized the museum, I wanted to, whatever their reputation is and respect them. So I said you could just take the money and scholar scholarship and I don't have to be in it. Um, and we had a good discussion about, you know, the views of women in tech. And he's like, this is your journey. This is kind of why you want to give back. And um, so, yeah, I kind of decided to approach about it. And if I can help someone maybe go down the same path I did, or maybe somebody doesn't know what they want to do as far as computer science. But the big thing for the scholarship was um, they have to make something. So they couldn't just have a, like a letter from their teacher saying, uh, yeah, this person would be good for this scholarship. They specifically have to make something with some new technology. And you don't even have to know anything about the technology. You just have to get over that step of being afraid to be a beginner. Can you yeah. bio transform the chip in your hand, I read? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, if you ever use anything to like get into your building or a key pass, it's just an NFC uh, chip. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and it holds 888 bytes of data, which is... I guess the same thing as a tweet, but it's just a, a tiny chip and you can program and write to it. Um, there's also been some interesting thing because um, of the security and yeah. But really I'm an adopter of early technology and I mean, you can easily take it out. It's underneath the skin. Yeah, it's also a good communication thing and it scares people. So it's a good conversation starter.
Yeah, so um, I guess the biggest thing was like all the people coming to the workshop. So I was very, very, I don't know, there's some like you're nervous, but also at the same time, like you're excited because, so like today I did the resin casting. That's why my hands are all super dirty. But it was neat because some people were like, oh, I'm going to add this, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, oh, never even thought about that. So that's a nice thing you can learn from everyone because I, I like that. I, I feel like everything is kind of this remix in life. You take things that you like or you're influenced by what you're reading or watching or video games you're playing and you just create your own little thing with it. Um, I am also, I think, on Monday. We are going to like wine territory here, so I'm excited. But I actually saw, I think, Hybrid World has an entire Lego section. So I'm like, why did they not tell me about this? So I'm excited for that.